and you're having your fun, be wise. Yes, sir. Amen. Because if you're having fun and not being wise, that's when it becomes foolish. Yes, sir. Amen. So mm -hmm. don't go from here saying that, well, I can't have no more fun. No, you can have fun. Mm -hmm. But when you're having your fun, be wise. Amen. Yeah. Because when you take that wise out of the fun, mm -hmm. you're being foolish. Amen. 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 All right. Brother Brian, Sister Tamika, can y'all reach each other? <laughs> 23rd verse says what? All these all, evil things. All. All these evil things. What? Come from within. They come from the heart. Yes. This is what causes the separation between you and God. All these things. That's it. All these evil things come from within and they do what? And defile the man. That's what defiles. The man. Look at St. Luke 21. St. Luke 21. And 34th verse. Remember, a heart far from him. A heart far from him. I should see the look on Sister Tamika's face. She's like, man, I don't know where he's separating me from my, my booty. Too much mm -hmm. distance. 34 says what? And take heed to yourselves. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged mm -hmm. with what? With sir fighting. Sir fighting. And? And drunkenness. Drunkenness. And what? And cares of this life. And cares of this life. And so that what? And so that day come upon you that unawares. Day, that day is the coming of the Lord. Yeah. The day that it's talking about is the coming of the Lord. You so bit, sir, fighting is uh, overindulging, mm -hmm. eating too much, just overindulging. Mm. Some All people, right y'all know, y'all, I'm sure everyone knows of a person mm -hmm. that just loves to eat. Mm. Yes. Somebody told my wife one time, she said, you know, I, I fixed you a plate. But, man, <laughs> I ate it for lunch today. <laughs> Took a I bite. fixed you a plate, but I ate it for <laughs> lunch today. All right. Over excessive. Yeah, slow down. Slow, slow down. Slow down. Breathe. There's plenty of food where that came from. Yes, breathe. Huh? And drunkenness. Mm hmm. And what? And cares of this life. So wrapped up into the things that are going on around you yes. that you forget all That's about <clears throat> making sure that your heart belongs That's to God. It. That's it. You're so wrapped up with work. Yeah. I got PTA. Mm -hmm. I got this job. I All need right. to help my kid with the homework. Come on now. I got to go to the bachelor party. Mm. All these cares. I got to clean my house. Mm -hmm. Got to wash the car. You are so wrapped up in everything else that that day, read it again, that last person says what? And cares of this life. And cares of this life, and so that day does what? Come upon you. Come upon you how? Unawares. You weren't expecting it. Because you forgot all about it. Yes, sir. What's it say? 35, what? For as a snare shall it come on all them. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell where? On the face of the whole earth. That doesn't leave out anybody. That's that covers it. us all. And what? Watch ye therefore. Watch ye therefore and do what? And pray always. Pray sometimes. Always. Just pray in the morning. That's all you got to do. Pray always. Just pray at nighttime before you go to bed and you'll be all right. And pray always. Pray always. Everybody say it together. Pray always. Pray always. Ways. That's it. 
I heard my brother one time work in a public restroom or something like that. And right before he started using the restroom, I heard somebody praying. I said, dude, what? He praying? Scripture says, pray always. <laughs> it said, All pray right. always. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. That's what it said. I can't say anything against him. I started doing it myself. I pray when I get into the car. Mm-hmm. Pray when I wake up in the morning. Pray before I go to bed at night. Pray no throughout right. the day. Scripture no says right. pray always. Pray always. Amen. And that, that you may be what? That you may be accounted worthy. Now here's the key, church. That ye may be accounted worthy to do what? Escape to all escape these things. Escape all these things that we just talked about. Those sins that yes. are in the heart that would cause a separation. Pray to God that you be found worthy to escape all these things. And what? That shall come to pass. That shall come to pass. And what? And to stand before the Son of Man. And that you will be worthy to see God's face. In closing, St. John 5, 25. You know, I was thinking on a, uh, a song, woke up this morning. I mentioned it to my wife again the other day and woke up again thinking about it this morning. And I was going to sing. We heard it at Lothian, Maryland. I told my wife I was going to sing it, and she had said that one of the other sisters in the church said they were going to sing it, so amen. Let it be so. Yeah. But I was going to sing it during the sermon today, but the words of it are just so powerful. All right. And, and, and it's funny because several of the people today said those words. I think mm. one of the brothers had said, God is able, he's able. Yes, he is. And then somebody else said, don't give up on God. Mm-hmm. Songwriter said, for he won't give up on you. That's it. He's able. So as that verse has said that we were just now reading, pray always yes. that you'll be found worthy yes, to, to escape. escape. He's able to allow you to escape it. Yes, he is. And he's able to do just what he said he would do. St. Yes. John 5, 25, in closing, says what? Verily, verily, I say unto you. Verily, verily, I say unto you what? The hour is coming. The hour is coming. And what? And now is. And now is. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And what? And they that hear. And they that hear. Shall live. You know, church, the dead is the one whose heart is far from God. That's right. the dead. But God said in his word that if you're dead, but you hear my voice, it said they that hear shall do what? Shall live. Shall live. They that hear. It said when the dead shall hear the voice of who? The son of God. Like my friend had said. She said she was told that Stop listening to people and, and quotes. Start reading the scripture. The yeah. scripture is what God has to say. The that's scripture it. is what Jesus had to say. That's Very clearly, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And what? And they that hear. And they that do what? And they that hear. And they that do what? And they that hear. And they that hear shall do what? Shall live. Thank you, Deacon. Thank you, congregation. Brother Brian, can you reach Sister Tamika? Sister Tamika, can you reach Brother Brian? Church, don't allow yourself to get too far from God that you cannot reach him. Amen. Pastor used to always tell me and my brothers, I can't remember the exact words, but he used to always tell me and my brothers, stay within that realm. Stay within the influences of your parents. Because once you get outside of that, you're in trouble. Your protection is gone. You see, Brother Brian and Sister Tamika, they can't reach each other. They're too far from each other. 
the same way. Brother Brian could be God. Sister Tamika could be herself. Don't allow yourself to get that far from God. Make sure that your heart belongs to God and make sure your hand is in God's unchanging hand. Amen? I pray my strength and growth in the Lord that I might be nothing in myself but just what God might have me to be. And Brother Brian and Sister Tamika, y'all can rejoin y'all 